the mother closes the blinds in her room. There is a lot of imagery of door and window shutting, particularly by the mother, throughout the entire movie. As the girl and the aviator become better friends, the film brings in the fox. Tied to the fox is the idea of individuality and friendship. What's your name, little fox? A big focus in the book were the stars and how they meant different things for different people. The stars play a similar role for the little girl in the movie. We start to see the ones in her room put up earlier during their time together. This has similarities to how the story sees the idea of individuality. Mom, I can't wait for me inside. But now. There's a point in the movie where the mom tears the pages and she throws them away. And we, in the story process, we had developed a scene where you saw the little girl taping the pages back together. But it was just too much story. But I still wanted to communicate that very powerful idea that she was going to be, you know, that she repaired the pages. So we had this idea of like hearing the sound of tape. It's such a recognizable sound. Um, and I really wanted that to be this powerful transition that would make the statement that she's repaired the pages without us having to see her do that. One way of showing time passing rapidly is through a time lapse. Lighting is also used as a cue that the day is changing, similar to the many sunsets seen throughout the film. The aviator finally has to tell the girl about the end of the story where the little prince returns to his planet. You understand, it is too far. I cannot carry this body with me. You said he's up there, didn't you? Back with this rose? But you don't know for sure. Huh? It would comfort me very much to know for sure, but instead, I choose to believe he's up there. The aviator believes the prince went back, but the little girl is more uncertain about the future. Again, we have sort of an allusion to faith juxtaposition with the little girl's completely planned out and secure life. But you don't know for sure. But you can't know for sure. After this scene, there's a shot of her vacuuming up the stars, again making a glass globe motif. Time again passes and they return home to find an ambulance in front of the aviator's house. What? Oh dear. As color is so important in this movie, it is significant how the first noticeable color of the ambulance is red. Warm tones are associated with the aviator's existence. The aviator's plane is red, and also associated with red is the fox and the rose. As the color red commonly symbolizes love, we could say that the plane, fox, and rose all symbolize love in their own way. And strikingly, they are the only very red objects within the entire movie. As we come into this scene, it's sort of bathed in red, and that continues on as the girl has to watch the ambulance drive away. Now as the ambulance drives away, notice how the blinking red light fades as the little girl turns to her mother. Blue is often associated with sadness. In the ambulance scene, she rides a blue bicycle to the hospital. Note the adults in the hospital scene are wearing blue, as well as the blueness of the hospital room itself. The little girl is also generally dressed in a bluish tone throughout the entire movie. There's also this green symbol as she enters the hospital, as well as the colors surrounding the aviator as he's being taken away. The rear lights of the car in front of her make the visual that she's chasing the red light, visually suggesting the emotional importance of her act. The two characters, especially the mother, usually have their hair tied back, one of the many things illustrating their restraint. The little girl's headband snaps off right when she runs to chase the ambulance. The hairband is then missing for the entirety of the third act. 